I've reached legendary status with my group of friends for being a castle keeper. It's pretty cool. It's better than being a, an accountant. Massive conversation starter in social opportunities. I've had quite a random career so far anyway, so it's just mm, takes off on another one. My parents are pulling their hair out wondering when I'm ever going to get a proper job. But yeah, I love being able to say I'm a castle keeper. Yeah. We had a medieval reenactment this weekend. The evening of the Saturday, we had a banquet here. We reenacted the idea of King Henry V coming back from the Battle of Agincourt. We had some hand to hand combat to show the nobles who were in the dining room what it would be like on the battlefield. Well, we ended up with uh, a quite a severe head injury. And 999 called to the paramedics and 15 stitches to a head wound. A lot of the audience thought it was artificial blood and been staged as part of the battle. I'm paranoid about locking someone in and I'm paranoid about being here on my own. I uh, came in last week dead early in the morning when it's still dark and I just walk around kind of like that because of the ghost stories and it'll only take one instance of spotting something spooky and that'll be me out of here. We never leave on our own, we're always together. It is spooky, even when you know there's somebody else in the building and you sort of walk, close the doors behind you and then every door bangs and then you turn off the lights, bang, dark, bang, dark as you close up. And it does, you know, you have to sort of talk to yourself quite severely. <laughs> so they're good, for the sake, don't be such a jumpy twit. We do get a decent number of uh, paranormal investigation groups booking to stay overnight and they always think they see stuff. If your mind is open to that kind of thing, I guess you'd have plenty to keep you entertained here. I keep an open mind, but I do talk to them. As I go to lock up in the tower, I sort of shout, Night, see you in the morning, bang the door. But then I do that to my dogs when I leave the house, so that's just as nutty, isn't it, really? The um, parent and toddler group guys downstairs took a photo last week and there was a blob on it and they're convinced it's a ghost. I'm quite sceptical. <laughs> it's a speck of dust on the camera lens. We definitely don't do it for the money. We don't do it for the money. <laughs> You know, what a privilege it is to have the keys and to be trusted to, to run a building like this.